I'm Walter Yates, and I'm here with uh, Nicholas Kitchen, who has become to be known as the Highlighter Man over the past few days. And I just wanted to take the time to say uh, thank you for speaking with me. And for those of you who do not know, he was involved in an incident where there was a older man in an apartment complex who was accosting children who were playing. And as Nick has already said, um, that the man was armed, and it was kind of a hostile situation. He stepped in and has been given a lot of credit for doing so. And uh, again, thank you for talking to with me today. And uh, what are what are your initial thoughts about, because I think, I believe you mentioned already that you've seen this man and he's had issues with children before. Is this something that boiled over um, and you were just kind of upset with him getting some children to stop playing? Or was this something that you just saw was like, this is, you're going far, way too far with uh, having guns on you and yelling at children? It's, it's, it's really, I think, going too far with having guns around children and trying to calm them down, being armed when they're 15 or less. No, you know, it is, I think that's what it is. It's, it's really frustrating. And I believe you said, we, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, so we had issues with this guy. In the past, he's actually the only dog at the kids as they go by. Um, he's, I guess you could say, kind of intimidated the kids with his big German Shepherd walk, walking around trying to corral them to get away from his apartment. When that whole grass area is grown, you can do as well as long as it's cleaned up and it's decent at the end of the day. I don't see the problem. There. So yeah, as you, yeah, I believe that's what you said in, in the video, is basically saying this whole entire area is for anyone in the apartment, this is where kids play. And did, it was kind of unclear to hear what he was saying, but you sound like he was trying to deny that he's been doing that. Was that what he said to you directly? So what he said was, now, the guy that you saw in the video, he was the armed security guard that didn't have anything on. So. He wasn't the owner of that apartment. The apartment owner was actually still sitting inside his house. Okay. So, he, he, yeah, so I, I need to make that clear. The guy that was outside his apartment was just a unmarked security guard, supposed to be, but he was unmarked. You don't know. And there's a random guy with a pistol and two set of handcuffs in your apartment complex. It, it's a little hard to take that lightly. So. Okay. Um. And he, um, I'm assuming the the uh, unmarked um, security guard didn't really know what was happening. Uh, he did, but I guess he doesn't know the full scale of what has been happening with that guy. I just know that I asked the security guard to see what what the camera didn't catch was. I had about a good five to six minute conversation with that security guard before that camera got slipped off. Okay. So when that camera got flipped on, you guys just caught me yelling because at that point I was super angry in the conversation. So first, the security guard tried to pull me around the corner because I asked him and I started talking to him and I was like, hey, so what's the deal? Why are you ushering these kids down? And there's no markings. And he's like, well, I'm a security guard. I said, well, I don't know that. And he's like, well, I'm a security guard. I've gotten phone calls about these kids being rowdy and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, okay, well, they're kids. And he goes, here, sir, let's step around the corner and we'll talk about this. And I'm like, why are you pulling me away from where everybody's hearing this conversation right now to turn around and pull me around the corner so you can say that I did something or because I'm standing up for these kids or what? So I said, no, I said, we're going to stay right here so everybody in this area can hear what is going on. And he was like, oh, and then that's when he froze, and then that's about the time to take maybe a few seconds to when the camera kicked on, and Samuel started reporting. Okay, and the the owner of that apartment, um, I guess the, the, the renter of the apartment, he, he was he saying anything at all, or was he just inside of his apartment at that point? So he was inside his apartment at that point, but when everything started calming down, he ends up having one of the office ladies come over to his apartment 
and they sat out there and he was flailing his arms and he's talking to the security guard and the manager of the apartment complex and we were just sitting on our porch and you could physically tell that he was so angry at the fact that I was taking up from the kids that he then somehow turned around and it was good enough for him talking that I ended up getting a 60 day notice on my front door the very next morning. So the 60 day notice that happened immediately after the incident and is what, what was that what was that for was that, would they say that was for your your involvement in that altercation or what 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 re rationale did they oh they did say that. so basically basically what it said was is we neglect or we 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 basically terminate the Option of you getting to renew your lease, okay? Which which is fine because we weren't looking to renew our lease in the first place at this place. Then they turned around and said that they were basically going to give us a 60 day notice, and that 60 day notice turns around and goes on our record and makes it look to all these other renters that we want to rent from or do whatever from like we're bad people. We've never been laid on a rent. We're always paying actually more than what we're supposed to, just so every month it kind of whittles it down for that next month. And then when we really need money, if we do, we end up taking that money out and we just pay the full thing. So we haven't been bad tenants. We haven't done anything wrong. We haven't gotten anything other than the doggone 60 day notice and the fact that we have to vacate August 31st, which by when they gave us the 60 day notice, it was actually the 21st of this month. So the 60 day notice would be the 21st of August, not the 31st. They gave us the 31st for some reason on a 60 day notice. So I don't know how that works. So that's uh so and we don't yeah, and we don't rent month to month. We legit signed a lease for a whole year. So that um does that have you spoken to anyone in the office uh, about that or are you just letting it go at this point? <laughs> so no, so what we did is we went down to the office. So my mother went down to the office actually, I believe it was yesterday. And she turned around and was trying to talk to Liz. Now, she posted on social media that, yes, she did say the F word twice while she was in the office. Um, she didn't say F you or anything like that. There was no bad words towards Liz. It was just like, are you serious? Like, and Liz felt she was threatened. So she kicked my mom out of the office. Then when I got home from work yesterday, I decided to go down with my mom and my pregnant fiance. And we go down to just have a nice conversation with Liz. And there's a security guard standing in her office. She turns around as we walk up to the door. And she goes, I'm not talking to you. I'm calling the police. You threatened me, this, that, and the other. And my mom's never threatened a butterfly in her life. So I don't know exactly how that works. And so we turn around and we walk out and about 30 minutes later, we get cops at our front door apartment, which was going from threats from my mom to the apartment manager to when they came up to the door, it was just a noise complaint in the office after all the stuff. That's um, quite suspicious. <laughs> So you're you're assuming the they are very well, the apartment complex is very well aware of the incident that went viral. Oh yes, so yes, we, we we actually know they are. Um, so it's super funny, but the lady that does the office friends Liz Fuller. Now I, I was friends with her and her husband for a very long time. We played softball together for a while. Um, after all this was said and done, I posted another video of the kids outside playing and saying, you know, I don't understand why this guy is trying to get these kids from stopping playing, this, that, and the other. And he turned around and posted down at the bottom, you should punch that guy in the mouth and then slap him in the ear. Oh, okay. That's, a, that's, that's, that's the park manager's husband. And I said that on my post about that guy that Liz Fuller is officially sticking up to. 
it's not like, okay, your husband sees something that you don't, obviously. I don't know what your deal is, but your husband obviously sees it. And I'm not going to go and punch the guy in the house. I'm not going to slap him in here. But that's something your husband said, and you're still backing up this guy that you've been getting complaints about constantly. So uh, I know the the end of other individuals not here to give us out of the story and probably won't. Um, so it, uh, it seems like that he does. Has he said anything? Because you you mentioned in one of the other videos that you have two daughters that play in that same area. Has he? Th does he treat all the children this way, or is he just generally not <laughs> approachable? Like who? Like what is his general? Yeah, no. All right. Okay. So I'll. I'll... It was funny. So my one of my thirteen year old twins, Addison, comes up to me and she looks at me and she goes, "You know, I don't like saying this, but I I'm almost a hundred percent positive she's racist." And I looked at her and I was like, "Well, sweetie, you can't really say something like that, you know, unless you got facts." And she looked at me and she goes, "Well." I walk by, or Kylie walks by, and he'll turn around and say, oh, hey, beautiful girl, how are you doing, blah, 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 and then they walk by. But last night, all these kids were outside playing, and he had a couple of his family members over with little kids, okay, all white, okay, and all the kids were playing, weren't playing with them, all of a sudden, all of the kids kind of dissipate and either go eat dinner or go check in with their parents or whatever they have to do and then the guy lets his little young grandchildren come out to play in the yard as everybody else is gone and i'm like come on that's that's super sketch right there just because of the fact that you don't have any colors that came out of that house no nothing you know what i mean and you're sitting here telling my kids hi, but any other person that walks by, you're telling them to get away from your porch. Uh, yeah, that's um, that, that definitely paints a paints a story. And and for those who saw the video, you 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 basically pointed out and said, I know every single one of you kids live here, and you're not doing anything wrong. And it didn't seem like the um, security guard was really responsive to that. Like what? What was he directly saying to you at that point? Does he was he saying the kids were doing something wrong? Was he not trying to? Use, no, anyone should be no. He, he just he, he just wasn't trying to talk to me after I explained to him that look, man, the kids can play anywhere from here to here. I said it doesn't matter. The kids can play here. The only thing that you own in an apartment complex is your back porch. So everything else is free game. And all he could do with this ridiculous look on his face is just stare at me and go, uh, well, well. And I got once or twice, I've gotten phone calls. So, you know, I asked, who did you get the phone call from? Who, who called? I can't tell you that. You're only guarding one house. And he couldn't say anything to that either. So I'm assuming, because they also, because it seemed like they were saying that there was, um, property damages have you seen any sort of damage being done that would be okay, so, no i haven't now i'm going to tell you there are like posts that might be busted like tops busted off you know what i mean going around the complex but it's an apartment complex there's wear and tear on anything in an apartment complex to include a pool which they fix once a year, every year after this summer is over with. So they know stuff is going to get broke. Now, if you're going to clarify in her video with Samuel that all of these kids are bad and it's just getting out of control, well, show me proof on which kids it is and show me that it's my kids too because I like to see videos on my kids being bad because I can guarantee you I sit here and watch these kids on a daily basis. And none of them act up. As a matter of fact, they love my dog. They love my mom. My mom gets called grandma. They love my fiance. I mean, it, it's it's crazy. I had an old neighbor from right next door turn around and hit me up on Messenger and say, hey, I got to tell you, my son and my daughter said they miss you a lot and they really appreciate what you did for the kids out there. Because I play with their kids, and then when they left, I never got in contact with her, and she found me on social media. Yeah, so it, it, it seems like that 
I, I won't directly say the apartment complex is lying, but it seems like maybe the tenant is, might be motivated by um, the race of the children playing because you, again, that's something you point out in the video is that he said things were being thrown at his window, he blamed the kids, and you said, well, you saw adults throwing Frisbee and a Frisbee hit a window. And if the Frisbee hits a window, I used to play ultimate Frisbee, it's not breaking the window. Like he, it's, it, the window is not breaking. You can't throw one of those hard enough to break a window. Um, so he just seems like to have an it like he have an issue with there being um, African American kids in that area. Which um, have you had any real interactions with this guy, or is, does he basically stay away from anyone and just um, stay re recluded inside of his own apartment? So, so the first time we had the confrontation, we found out that he was throwing the dog food at all the kids in the first place. Us and about five or six other parents walked down to his apartment. And we were out there and we said, hey, look, he's going to calling their names because his pregnant daughter, who's about 32, 33 years old, called one of the girls a hoe. And she's only 13 years old. And I, part, part of my language, I'm sorry, I don't know. A 13-year-old girl, you're, you're, you're a legitimate adult, and you're going to call a 13-year-old girl uh, that. I, it's, so they know what's going on in the office. They don't want to have to deal with anything. This guy turned around, and as soon as everybody started talking to him, he hightailed it back into his house and made his wife stand out there and end up talking to everybody. And we were like, look. If our kids do anything wrong, if they break something, if they do something that you think is wrong, come talk to us. Every mom said, this is my kid, this is my kid. If anything happens with these kids, I live right there. If this is my kid, this is my kid. If anything happens and you see it, hey, I live right there. And instead of the guy doing that, he turns around and calls an unmarked security guard armed to come out and deal with a bunch of kids who are out here playing. Like literally just having fun. And I believe in the video you said that you saw that you were like you saw them and they weren't doing anything out of the ordinary and you were confused at why an armed security guard that didn't have a badge was out there in the first place. Um because I mean it's no secret in the United States that there are there are shootings almost every, every other day. So I mean that, that for parents in general, that'd be like a little unnerving there's a guy walking around with gun with a gun we don't know who he is and there's a lot of kids out here i mean that's probably a parent's horror story at this point um i can imagine i don't have kids myself but i mean you're you're a father and i'm sure that probably set something off it means like right to say what are you doing around kids we don't know who you are um with guns visible like who why are you here i mean i'm sure that that's something that yeah. probably came up in your head and then it came up as like we've heard then he talked about kids doing whatever and you're like that's just not the case because you were standing out there watching them. So, yeah. Yeah. I, so at, at this point, I, what do you want to happen with the apartment complex? Because this doesn't seem like something that's going to go away, which is, I think, the most unfortunate problem at, at right now. So, what we've done in the past day or two is the fact that my mom has been on the phone nonstop trying to figure out who owns these apartment complexes so we can go to them. Thank you to them. So, she tried to call Liz today, and Liz turned around and said, I'm not talking to you. And my mom was like, well, wait, wait. And then she hung up the phone. So then one of my mom's co-workers turned around and called and was like, hey, I'm interested in renting, you know, blah, 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 blah. What is the owner's name? And she gave us a real quick uh, J or G something, something, Realty or something like that. And that was it. So then my mom spent all afternoon trying to Google and figure stuff out, figure out what this place was. And come to find out the name of it is John Goodman Real Estate. And that's the people that we ended up turning around and my mom called and talked to them. And they basically turned around and knew that what Liz did with that immediate reaction, giving us that 60 day was illegal. And 
and we've been waiting to hear back from them, and they said they'd answer today, and they haven't called us back, and it's now almost 9 o'clock. It's about 8 40. So, as so of right now, we're not going to get that call today. <laughs> so, as of right now, so they did, res the owners did respond and basically did say that that notice was illegal. Well, they didn't technically respond. They just told my mom that, yeah, we do think that what she did with giving us that note the next day was illegal. Now, that's not the owner of the business or anything like that. I just think that might have been maybe a secretary. I'm not going to try and say that they've said that they know it's illegal because I really can't say who that was on the phone. So. Uh, I appreciate you clarifying, but that, that does seem that um, if they do follow through with that, with the already of the attention on this incident, that, that would probably be a very bad business decision. That's um, safe to say. So what, so this guy, so I'm assuming all the other parents in the apartment complex are kind of upset about this one guy causing all this issue for all the kids and he's not directly showing any proof of any damage being done to any of his personal property. Uh, I'm assuming that's, that's a fair thing to say. Yep, 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 so, fair, fair. Uh, so, I mean, it, it just seems extremely uh, frustrating. Like, who, do you know anything about who this guy is? Because it seems like he's the only one that's really causing a problem in the complex. No, so, okay. Before this guy moved in, we had no issues. There weren't any calls. There weren't any security guard, armed security guards walking the premises. There weren't anything like this. What's really sad is, is just to be nice, I believe when that tenant decided to move in because I remember his black cowboy hat, I looked at him and I said, this is a great place. Yeah, you guys should move here. It's good. And they were like, oh, okay, and that's when I was in the main office when they first started to move in here. Next thing you know, I come to find out it's this guy. And I'm like, ha, I wish I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> um, so, I mean, yeah, this is a, 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 a definitely weird issue. I'm, uh, uh, incident. I'm glad you're, that you're checking back in and making sure everything is legal because it, that this is not a great situation for kids to grow up in, especially right now with race relations in the United States. I mean, I can imagine that being a little worrisome, bothersome for the kids living there to have to deal with this seemingly on a daily basis of being blamed for doing X, Y, and Z when it's like, what what, what did we do? Um, and parents being like, did you do anything? It's like, I don't think so. And this guy not being able to prove it in the park complex is, I guess, just not listening to all the tenants giving them money on a monthly basis. Um, so it's a, a little strange. Um, is there anything that you would like to directly say about what's what's happened and those who have seen the video and the overwhelmingly positive social media response? Because I, I spent a, about an hour just looking through what things people were saying about this. That and uh, definitely, um, it seems like the United States is definitely on your favor and and what you did and trying to stand up for for the kids out there. Yeah. appreciate you reaching out and uh, talking to me about this and um, we'll definitely uh, definitely stay in touch yes yes sir 